have to be very careful when you jump back in the plank because depending on how you come down with your feet, it can cause a reverberation in the back body. So if I come back here hard, boom, right here, it can be a little shock. So it, it can be good just to step back, or if you can come back very lightly, right there. The thing is, we don't like to teach going jumping into chaturanga necessarily because what happens is people go back really hard and fast. They come down and boom, like this, and then they just slam on the brakes with the front of the shoulder, the supra and infraspinatus, and then over time that can get really tight and it can pull the shoulders forward or it gets closed off and then you can end up with a rotator cuff imbalance or some other kind of injury. So, if you're gonna jump back into chaturanga, we're gonna do a nice little exercise right here so that you learn how to jump back smoothly and keep the shoulders up, all right? So if you wanna try and glide back instead of jumping back. So from here, I'm just gonna barely lift my feet and slide them back. And then I'm right in position. Okay, so there's no collapse in, in coming down. So we'll try it on the blanket and then real time. If I do it here, it's the same thing. I, I just jump back like I'm trying to slide my toes across the mat. Like that. So there's no boom impact. <laughs> 